Now at four, the search for the person who shot and killed a grandmother and HISD educator in North Houston while she was sleeping. Family and friends now paying their respects to Brenda Reyna and hoping police will find answers on who did this. Good afternoon. I'm Lauren Freeman in for Sarah and I'm Keith Garvin. We've been following the story since our morning newscast to happen on East Sunnyside near Silvercrest in North Houston and new at four. We hear from the grandmother's family. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez is live at the elementary school where she worked. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, that grandmother shot and killed was also a teacher's aide here at this elementary school. Once we pulled up, we actually spoke to one of her co-workers, too heartbroken. She immediately started crying, saying she's terribly sad about this situation, didn't want to do an interview with us. We also spoke to that victim's family, who is just as devastated. There was a steady stream of family and friends Monday afternoon in front of a home now riddled with bullets. Several people all showing up to pay their respects to 63-year-old Brenda Reyna, who relatives say was shot and killed during a drive-by shooting just hours earlier. There were several cases on, on the street. She slipped right in this front window here, and that's where all the shots went. Her family says Reyna was a kind person with a good heart, a mother and grandmother to several children. Her sister says Reyna was someone who was always looking out for others. When my father and mother had to work, she was the one to take care of all of us so they could make it to meet. Reyna was also a teacher's aide not too far away at Jefferson Elementary School. That's where she's worked for several years, specifically with special needs students. The parents loved her because she, she taught them so well. Stuff they they didn't know that they thought they were never going to be able to do. They she taught them to do that. Police believe the shooting that ultimately took Reyna's life was gang related. They also say while she wasn't the intended target, they do believe one of her sons, who is said to be a known gang member, may have been. Police are still searching for the shooters responsible as a family is left grieving. If they ever reach heaven, he might not let them in the gate. But I guarantee that she's already in the gate and, and asking for their forgiveness. And police are currently looking at surveillance video in that area where that shooting happened. All they are telling us is that the suspects got away in a four door sedan. Of course, if you have any information about this case, you're urged to contact police. We are reporting live from the city's north side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.